Hey everybody, this is Raymond Francis. Let's talk about bone fractures. Nearly 75% of bone fractures occur in people over 65 years of age. And this greatly contributes to disability among our elderly. Most people lose bone strength with age. And when this loss reaches a level that is severe enough, we call it osteoporosis. This is not supposed to happen and it's entirely preventable. Animals in the wild enjoy perfect bone health, so why do we have so many problems? The answer is our poor diets and lifestyle. Yet we control these, so we control our bone health. Our bones were intended to last for a long lifetime. If there's a problem, you have to ask, what are you doing wrong? One of the most important things that anyone can do for their bone health is to normalize their pH. Low pH strips minerals from your bones and uh, you don't want that to happen. You need to consume more fresh vegetables and nuts and seeds and fruits. Get the sugar, the wheat, processed oils, excess animal protein and dairy products out of your life. Keep your pH in the 6.5 to 7.5 range. Read my book, The Great American Health Hoax, to learn more about the importance of pH, how to measure your pH, how to control your pH. Exercise is critical. Exercise signals bones to become stronger. 30 minutes a day, five days a week will do wonders for most people. Rebounding is an excellent way to effortlessly get the exercise you need and tell your bones to be stronger. Supplements are also critical. Building bone requires at least 20 essential nutrients. Unfortunately, most of us are deficient in at least some of them. This means we end up with weak bones because healthy bones cannot be built without the proper building materials. Now the average person thinks, well, um, Taking calcium as the solution. Well, calcium's important, but it must have other critical nutrients to build strong bones. And these include magnesium and vitamin D and vitamin K2 and potassium and essential fatty acids, um, boron, all kinds of things need to build strong bones. It's never too early or too late to begin building and rebuilding bone strength. You must be proactive and take personal responsibility because if you do nothing, you're gonna lose bone strength with age and then you're gonna to have to live with those unpleasant results. So you're in charge, health is a choice, learn how to choose it, get yourself a copy of The Great American Health Hoax if you haven't already read it. Thanks a lot for listening, enjoy.